Welcome back to another action figure review video. I'm your host Avionics. First, I'd like to say thank you for my returning subscribers tuning into this video. But if you're new to the channel and new to my reviews and stuff about action figures, I highly recommend subscribing to the channel and ringing that notifications bell so you don't miss out on uh, review videos like this along with action figure news that's going on in the world. But yeah, in this video, we are taking a look at these two Assassin's Creed action figures made by NECA. So these two figures are actually, they're not new, but they are reissues from the past. Um, I'm not sure exactly when they first came out, probably around the time that, you know, these video games actually came out on uh, consoles like Xbox and PlayStation. But these figures are based off the Assassin's Creed video games. This one um, with the Brotherhood line and then this one more according to the Revelations look. But yeah, these are, from what I've read and seen already, these are reissues, not um, brand new figures out on the market. But yeah, so I found them at Target, and you know, being that I've played several Assassin's Creed video games in the past already, um, like Odyssey and Valhalla, decided, you know what, let's go ahead and add these to the Avionics collection. This is the uh, Ezio Auditore um, action figure from Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, um, a Ubisoft original. Here he is in the front window packaging. These are, like I said, I found them at Target. They're only $30 compared to like regular NECA Ultimates that are like uh, $37. That was also a factor of me purchasing these for my, and adding them into my collection was the $30 price tag. Plus I saved 5% because I have Target Red Car. But yeah, but yeah, uh, here's what the top of the box looks like, ages 17 and up. And then here we have some photo work done, and it says Ezio Auditore, Legendary Assassin. On this side, same thing, is that the same photo? No, it's a different different photo of the figure. And then on the box, the uh, team that is on the NECA team who is responsible for this action figure. Barcode for any of you who are interested. NECA branding here. And then on the back, we do have some photo shots of this Ezio figure and then a little bio if you will if you want to pause and go ahead and read that one down at the bottom it says that it, this one includes captain sword hidden blades crossbow and interchangeable head and hands stemming from the revelations video game so it's you know their their weaponry and their outfits are based on those video games there's the front and then the same top here's the photo work on the side and it also says Ezio Auditore, the mentor. Inside another photo of the figure. On the bottom, the UPC code for that one. And it should be the same NECA team that is responsible for the other figure. On the back, same kind of layout with a uh, little bio paragraph right there as well. Includes the Yata Yata Yatagan sword, Macedonian dagger, hook blade, hidden blade, crossbow, and interchangeable hands. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox these guys out of their little prisons. So upon opening up the packaging, the cardboard inserts are worth noting. So in the Brotherhood, we have this little diorama piece that it could serve as a uh, background for standing your fig figure right here. But it's the uh, Broken Colosseum in Italy. And then the Brotherhood one shows off this scene. So yeah, so if you have room, you can set these up right behind the figures. All right, so here's both Ezio figures out. We have Brotherhood and all the accessories on this side, left side, I guess, right? And then Revelation figure, Ezio and all his accessories on this side. So one thing I'm noticing from the two figures already is um, this one comes with an extra head. This one does not. The head on this figure. So it looks like the hood is attached to this one. It doesn't seem like it wants to come off. So if you want to swap the head, Gently, without breaking anything. There is the joint and the articulation point that we're dealing with. And then just pop on the other head. So this is actually my first time seeing these action figures, or actually knowing that they even exist. Didn't even know that they made these a long time ago. It is kind of hard to peg it in. Grr. One thing I'm noticing is these heads seem kind of small for for the body. It could have been a little bit bigger because we're going to bust out some other NECA figures here. 
for some comparison and we can see how small these heads are compared to the same size scale NECA figures that NECA already has out. But yeah, that doesn't want to go back on. But um, this hood does not detach from this head. So yeah, so taking a closer look at this head, you'll see that the iconic hood covering over his face. So that's a pretty cool sculpt though. You know, besides the size, the look of it looks really good. And the texture and the detail of the hood looks really cool. The colors look good, the, the folds, and then the other head. Hoodless Ezio, really good. Yeah, so everything looks good. It's just the size is a little bit too small for the body. I mean, look how small that face is. I'll bust out, like I said, I'll bust out some figures here later. And then there's only one head on our revelation, and he is hooded. But uh, yeah, the detail looks really good. All right, so each figure comes with five extra hands compared to the two that are on their bodies already. So we have these closed fists. All right, and then I'm just going to lay them down so you don't fall. And then he has a right hand and a left hand of this one. And it seems like you can interchange hands between the two figures or the same tone. I mean, it's the same It's the same guy. So, so we got that sculpt. Lines in the palm look really good, articulating side to side. So there's a left one of that as well. And then we have a right hand gripping, gripping right hand, articulating side to side as well. Nicely detailed veins. There's the inside of the hand. So we only have one gripping hand uh, right in that sculpt. We have a semi-gripped right hand that articulates side to side. Good detail and showing off the, the fingernails too. And then a left hand, uh, just a, more of a relaxed sculpt pose, expression, side to side. Surprised they didn't add, like, to make it even, like six hands. That's weird. Um, the hands on Revelation, I believe they're the same thing. This one. And then... Left one is a, the same one. And then, yeah, it seems to be the same. Okay, so you can't really interchange it. There's, <laughs> they're the same exact hands. All right, now let's look at the uh, the assassin daggers for Brotherhood. Just a closer look at this one. So these are the ones that hide underneath his sleeves. Really good look to it. Nice metallic paint. There's one for the right side and then same exact thing that you can put on the left side and then his sword this is a really cool looking sword kind of reminds me of like McFarlane Witcher type not well not McFarlane but just a Witcher type sword but this is the sword that is in the video game really good detail on colors the the gold really pops and then you have that black paint in between and then the handle looks really nice as well and then a nice shiny blade and then um, the crossbow now they both share the same crossbow actually they're, they're both exactly the same so here is the side wow the, the sculpt of this really looks good it's got that antique looking sculpt too in the dark silver paint the detail just along the front looks really good and then the front here's the top view looks really good yeah so they both share the same crossbow so um hands same in revelation but um let's see if the assassin blades are the same i think they are the same yeah pretty much the same exact assassin blades for the sleeves and then the other accessory that revelation has is this dagger Nice paint applications all around and uh, little details up there showing off the handle. One other accessory for Revelation Ezio is this hook blade. So it's uh, got a gold painted hook on the end of it and then a nice dark metallic paint on the handle. And we got a little bit of, not sure if that's overspray of paint, like this little spiky thing. But, uh, you know, I think I'll just trim that off. All right, so now let's take a look at the figures themselves. Once again, we'll start back with Brotherhood. So he's got that hood. 
And then this is like the, the entire outfit that he wears or the main outfit he wears in the game. Oh, I noticed there's some screws back here. Huh. Oh, so that's how the, uh, that's how it's going to articulate. Oh, okay. All right. So we'll get into articulation here in a second, but great looking details. This is not a soft goods cape. It's a hard skull, but it looks good nonetheless. Got that scarlet blood red and on the inside and then the this whitish gray on the outside. He's got shoulder armor right here attaching across the front. Really good detailed front, whatever you call this. It's not a belt, but we're calling it a belt in this video, but it looks really good. Look at that. Showing off the size and the little mini daggers, which don't come off, but th that looks really cool all the way around. And then the bottom half of his outfit looks really cool. And then the legs showing off the pants and the boots. Boots look good too. They are not pinless articulation here. You can see at the knees and at the, the ankles on the boots, but the boots look really good. Look, so the entire sculpt of this looks overall pretty, really good. I mean, just look at how uh, articulate, detailed these uh, the armor pieces are. And then the brother, I'm sorry, Revelation Ezio. So a di uh, different design, of course, you know, modeled after the uh, Revelation video game. But all the details look outstanding as well. Different colors of br uh, brown throughout the armor and then the dark what color do you call this like a greenish and gray dark gray combined but all the strapping and all the shoulder armor looks really good and the bracers and this uh, more of a uh, like fur boots with the fur <laughs> but um yeah everything looks good down to the bottom part of the jacket so he does have a um a holder or holster for the dagger All the details look good. This little pouch in the back of the belt and then same articulation points. They got pins, different boot sculpts, of course. Oh, and then, of course, they have peg holes at the bottom, which I recommend using like NECA clear stands that they sell at Target as well. Articulation is going to be very limited, being that, you know, for the price point that it is $30, you're not going to get too good. I mean, you'll get the point across, of course, to get him some poses. But once again, here's the head forward all the way back. It's going to be hindered a lot by the hood, but it does, he can turn. The whole hood turns with it. As far as arms goes, uh, we do have butterfly joint going on. Okay, if you can see that there. And it's as far as it goes up and then rotating it all the way. You can't bring his arms any further down to the side, which is kind of weird, but... It's going to be able to rotate like so, and then he's going to swivel at the elbow, and then a 90 degree, only a single joint, almost a 90 degree bend at the arm. Wrists going to rotate all the way around, and these hands articulate side to side. And then we have that ab crunch on that screw that's screwed together, the, how the body is sculpted and assembled but he's going to be able to ab crunch like that all the way back like this let's see how well his legs articulate okay splits kicking forward but then you know he's got the jacket all the way coming down so it's gonna that's as far as you can get his leg to go forward really Ooh, squeaky all the way back and then do we have any swiveling? Okay, so we do have a thigh swivel right there. Once again, double pinned articulation at the knees, which is really good. So that shows off some good range of motion right there. And then we do have a swivel cut at the top of the boot right below the knee. And then what do we have here at the ankle? We have hinging all the way up like that, all the way back like that. And he does have toe articulation, which is nice. So you can bend it like this and then it will swivel. Let's see real quick if, if Revelation is going to be pretty much the same thing. I don't see anything different. So yeah, this has some good, this one has some better um, butterfly joint range in the left arm at least <clears throat> and the right arm. 
not yeah I mean same joints it's just because of the armor and then it's gonna do the same head articulation and it's gonna be the same articulation at the elbow and then this one does have screws the way it's assembled on the back so it'll ab crunch as far as that all the way back splits before it starts to hinder and get in the way with all the clothes forward and then same knee and feet articulation all right so before we dive into scale comparison part of the video i wanted to compare the size of the heads of these guys with other NECA action figures so here's marty mcfly and then here actually you know what let me just grab the uh the head without the hood there's marty mcfly and Ezio. so yeah these heads are definitely smaller than what they should be i wonder why uh they got away with that. <laughs> that's kind of a, that's the only thing I see wrong with these um, Assassin's Creed action figures being that they are supposed to be of the same scale as, you know, the rest of their NECA line. Um, one, uh, one tenth or seven inch scale. But yeah, so those heads are way too small. But um, yeah, so here are the Ezio's with Marty McFly and uh, Predator. We got Dutch. And then here are some other NECA uh, same scale figures, another Predator, and then we have Terminator, NECA Robocop, and NECA Sarah Connor. And then here with NECA TMNT Movie Raphael and NECA Cartoon Michelangelo. To compare to some 112th scale, we got Hasbro, G.I. Joe Classified, Snake Eyes, and Cobra Commander. And then with Marvel Legends, Spider-Man, and Falcon. And, you know, now that I think about it, I think these heads are... The Ezio heads are more, more so on the one twelve scale. The head is one twelve scale, but the body is one tenth scale or seven inch scale. Here's a closer view of how the assassin blades will attach. So you'll see the uh, the peg hole for the hand, but right here on the top is where you can attach the blade. Put the blade on while the hand is still attached. It's, it's better and safer if you slide the blade in while the hand is already there. And then here for Brotherhood, it goes right in there, pretty much like that. But it should go in a little bit more. Let me get his, see if I can get his hands. There we go. Overall though, if you're an Assassin's Creed fan who has played all the Assassin's Creed games and you're into collecting, you know, this is a great representation of Ezio Auditore for the most part. Um, you know, other than the size of the heads, they are a little too unproportional. But the detail and sculpt of these action figures and um, the many different accessories for the price point of only 30 bucks, I guess, you know, $7 more like a regular NECA Ultimate, we could have gotten a uh, correctly sized head, huh? But yeah, the accessories look great. So yeah, so you can display these with the um, the, the cardboard back insert inside the packaging as well. Like I said, kind of limited on the articulation, but for the most part, you're mostly going to be displaying these anyways. But for $30, I think that's a pretty good price for a NECA Ezio Assassin's Creed. And once again, these are reissues. They are not brand new. But yeah, these are popping back up at local targets. They're showing up back in the wild again. Who knows why they decided to just make a, a reissue of these. But yeah, they, they are showing up uh, all around the country. So um, if you're hunting them, ooh, good luck. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed watching the review on these two Ezio action figures, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button. Please leave all your comments and thoughts down below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell to be notified of more reviews like this. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.